How's it going, everybody? Pause and Rubble here, bring you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Eric Games called Heritage of Eternal Splitting, and you're looking at only a buck on the PlayStation Store with four total stacks. This is a genuinely fun little arcade game where you're trying to cut away parts of the screen until you control at least 80% of it. As far as controls go, you only have to worry about cross and sometimes R2. Pressing cross and moving in a direction will be how you cut into the map, and eventually you'll find a power-up which will allow you to shoot the enemies on screen with R2. Trophy-wise, you've essentially got two goals and one extra thing to look out for. Your first goal should be to finish the first three levels in both the normal and survival modes. I would suggest starting with the normal mode just to get the hang of the controls and how the game plays, but I went straight into survival and got through it relatively quickly. The difference between the two modes is that survival is just that. You are trying to survive through all three levels, how many points you get at the end of the level will determine whether you earn an extra life or not, and if you run out of lives you have to start over back at level 1. There's a timer for both normal and survival mode, but while playing on easy, it's unbelievably generous and not something you really need to worry about at all. Gameplay-wise, I'll give you a couple tips. First, each boss fires a spread of projectiles, but they'll only hit you if you're actively trying to cut into the map. The first two bosses fire up, while the third level's boss will fire to the left, and those directions never change. Second, as you cut into the map, you're going to find power-ups, and these will fire immediately once they're completely uncovered. Blue is a time stop, green is a speed up for yourself, the red one with a skull destroys a single minion, and the other red with a fire icon gives you the ability to shoot with R2. These all have short durations, so make sure as soon as they proc that you use them to the best of your ability. The best one, as far as I'm concerned, is the shooting one, since it allows you to leave only the boss moving around, giving you plenty of wiggle room to cut bits off. Finally, try to save the blue time stop power-up for last. Either this or the green speed-up are the two things that make the final trophy, getting over 85% completion when you finish the level, super easy to achieve. Just wait until you're relatively close to 80%, Unlock either of those power-ups, and cut as big a chunk out of the map as you're comfortable with. Doing that, I was able to get to just over 90% when I finished a level. I was able to get this done in just over 15 minutes, going in completely blind, so now that you've got an idea of what to expect, I wouldn't be surprised at all if you could cut this down to under 10 minutes, no problem. There's also more levels if you want to keep playing, but we trophy hunters only have to worry about the first three. That'll do it for me, though, everybody. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number platinum this was for you. This is number 911 for me. Yeah.